guys, so welcome back to the next video. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my garden. Um, it is a very messy garden this year. Uh, we, have, we just did a lot of compost and we just let the, um, whatever came up came up, um, which is pretty interesting because we have a lot of stuff back there that just um, over half, more than over half our garden just came up on its own. And we just try to weed around, um, we just try to weed around the, the plants that came up, which is, I'm glad this actually happened like this because the the stuff we planted really didn't um, turn out that good. It didn't grow up except for almost all of the all of the um, volunteers, which is fine, you know. So, like I said, it's it's really a messy garden. Um, we're trying to keep up with the weeds, but we're having so much rain the past um, th this last summer. Um, it's been raining almost every day, um, so it's really hard to keep up. It's been really hard to keep up with the weeds, so that's why it looks even worse. So. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be showing you, heading back there now, but first I'm going to show you what's on my balcony. I do have a couple uh, plants up there, and then heading back down to the garden. So, I'll see you there. So first, on my um, balcony patio area, I have uh, some peppers. These are um, some red hot peppers, um, really spicy. There's uh, three, uh, two here, and they decided to come up, and then um, right there, and then some here. And they're just getting ready to, can you see this or not? There it is. <laughs> you see this or not, it's just getting ready to turn red. And these are really, really good peppers. These are actually were gifted to me by my brother-in-law, which is really neat. Then here, over here, we haven't planted these yet. Um, we have some strawberries and some blueberries. So let's go down to the garden, which is um, right next to the outhouse. And yes, it is a usable outhouse <laughs> um, so the garden's right down there so um, I'll see you guys down there so let's head back down to the garden <laughs> so just a really quick this is our goal um, probably next spring to plant a um, po postcard um, orchard which is um, really small like dwarf trees of the uh, about six of them in this area right here so this should be really awesome whole bunch of different fruit <laughs> Had to get a beast inside. <laughs> Had to lock this up. <laughs> so this is our garden. Wow, <laughs> you can see. So um, all these um, tomato plants right in this area here uh, came up on its own. Yeah, so this is where all the tomatoes, most of the tomatoes are. So you can see we have some tomatoes grown right there. They're ripe, right, ready to pick. Probably pick it um, probably tonight. So like I said, all these are tomatoes. They're all volunteers. A lot of tomatoes is here. So right here, we have a, a squash plant. I don't know what type of squash it is. If you can let me know, that'd be great. Um, another volunteer. <laughs> so this is the, the pumpkin or squash that's, that's on it right now. There's about six or seven different um, squashes on this, um, on this plant just by itself. And we're growing every day. So we have a lot of squashes here, it's awesome. So here I have some beets. I actually planted these myself. These did not come up. A lot of beets. And there's some more tomatoes down through here. Um, right, right in here, some more tomato tomatoes. Tomato in the cage. We have uh, another squash plant. Um, we have a pumpkin over here. So we can find it, yep, right there. I actually planted this one, which is funny because that's the only one that didn't come up. <laughs> or, <coughs> Which is kind of funny because that's the one that came up, only squash plant that came up that I actually planted. Which is okay. We have another another type of squash plant here. Like I said, I don't know what type of squashes these are because they were volunteers. And I'm trying to remember what type of squashes we ate and composted. Which is kind of hard to do that. <laughs> and then we have some corn. This is the corn that I planted. Of course, you know, corn doesn't come up by itself. <laughs> um, 
uh, two rows of corn and it's kind of weird because some of them are actually really close to the ground which is okay but um sometimes uh there's a couple of them that the the rabbits are getting at but okay they need to eat too <laughs> but it's kind of weird that they're growing that close to the ground so like i said two ears of corn here and some more tomatoes over here next to corn um, these, uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> um, so these here are also volunteers too. Um, most of the volunteers we tomatoes we have are either cherry tomatoes or Roma tomatoes, which is pretty good. A lot of salsa this year, probably. <laughs> Over here, we have another pumpkin or squash, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can find it. Another, another squash over here. Another pumpkin plant kind of taking over the yard a little bit. <laughs> more baby squash. <clears throat> and some more tomatoes over here. These are the tomatoes I actually planted. So, yep. <laughs> I need to get out here and weed a little bit more tonight, probably. These here are the ones that I actually planted, which actually aren't doing that great. The ones that came up were actually doing a lot better. So this one here is taking over the yard, um, which we'll have to move when we mow the grass tonight, <laughs> which is fine. Just move it and it'll take over wherever we put it at. Um, I'm really glad this one cooperated because uh, it was starting to grow over the tomatoes. So over here we have a little bit of kale I'm probably going to pick tonight. Make some kale chips or something, or salad. Then some more tomatoes over here. It looks like Roma, Roma tomatoes. And then over here, more, of course, more tomatoes. <laughs> we have um, some Cherokee um, black tomatoes, which were actually planted last year. Um, I hope they taste better than last year, because last year they had no taste. <laughs> so some more tomatoes here that are taken over the yard. A little bit more. <laughs> and then over here we have some spearmint. That's um, the squash is taking over. Move this. It's weird how the squash just like anchors down. Anchors down and just takes over. <coughs> there we go. Anchors down and just takes over everything. They got some, uh, this is really expanded. This is a really small um, plant when I planted it. This is good. I'm going to let it go to the seed and then have it come back next year. So back in this like swamp grass, whatever, is another squash plant. So yeah. So a lot of squashes and a lot of, uh, a lot of tomatoes. Yeah. So there you go guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet already, because I would love to have you guys as a subscriber. And um, so I will see you guys tomorrow from next video. Bye.